For more than 50 million Americans who need drug therapy, the thought of a needle-based injection is pretty scary. However, it's a little known fact that needle-free delivery methods are possible for virtually all liquid-based medications. Biojec Medical Technologies is working hard to bring this exciting new biotechnology to the general market. Here today to discuss the possibilities and the adoption challenges the technology faces are Chief Medical Officer Dr. Richard Stout and President Mark Logo Massini. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, Jackie. It's nice to be here. Thank you, Jackie, for having us. Richard, first of all, can you tell us about the challenges that needle-free technology faces and, and why, beyond science fiction, have we heard so little about it? Yeah, Jackie, one of the largest challenges is awareness, is to make sure that people are aware that they can get their injections without a needle. We're a relatively small company, so we have to work hard to be sure we get the message out. And the other thing is, you know, people have had their injections with a needle and syringe for hundreds and hundreds of years. So we've only been out there for a few decades, but that's the biggest challenge right now is making sure everybody's aware that you can get your injection without a needle. Sounds good to me. Now, Mark, give us some more detail about Biojet Medical Technologies itself and the technology we're talking about. Biojet was started uh, in Portland about 25 years ago. And the idea then was that you could take what was really underdeveloped jet injection technology that had been used primarily in the military and improve it, advance it, and make it uh, more user friendly and add patient benefits uh, to it so that there was a better patient experience at the end of it. Uh, we're doing a better job of educating companies, people, on the true cost difference between needle and syringe and needle-free technology. And then finally, so far as Bioject goes, we're engaging in strategic collaborations that expand our bandwidth. We've got uh, programs with service providers, patient groups, and uh, just about anybody that can help fill in the resource gaps that we as a small company face. Wow. Now, Richard, where do you see needle-free technology, say, in a decade? Yeah, over the next 10 years, Jackie, it's going to grow tremendously because we're going to have more self-injection at home. More and more of our drugs being developed are injectables, and more and more of them have to be injected at home. Going to the clinic, going to the doctor's office anymore for your injection won't happen. So as the market grows for more self-injection at home, so will needle-free. Patients do not want to use needle and syringe at home. It's just not a natural thing they like to do. So that self-injection market at home is going to grow. The other area we're going to grow in a lot is pediatric applications. Children don't want to do it, and mom and dad don't want to do it mm -mm. with a needle and syringe. So that's clearly an area it's going to grow. And then, of course, the third will be the vaccine market, as I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. Many of these new innovative vaccines being developed are being developed with needle-free. So that will, in the next decade, be a very large area. Wow. You know, Richard and Mark, I want to thank you both for sharing this exciting new information about Biojet medical technology and needle-free injection. This is fascinating. Thank you, Jackie. We appreciate yeah, it. Thank you for having us. We've enjoyed it. And thank you for watching 21st Century Health. I'm Jackie Bales. We'll be right back.